Hey fellow Fall Twins, it's Angry Turtle and I have something great for you. New alcohol have been added to the game in a very sneaky way and I had no clue about it. I only discovered it thanks to one of my viewers on the stream that unfortunately his name I forgot already. I'm sorry about that, but he told me about it. Otherwise, I will never know we have a new gene in the game. It's called Vintage Toxic Gene. And if you inspect it, look what it does. It's 10% damage and melee attacks lower enemy damage resist by 10. And of course, we'll test how this stuff exactly works in a second. But first, most likely you want to know how to get this gene. And I will tell you. We are exactly where we need to be to get one. It's Big Ben Tunnel West. It's where you need to fast travel. And then you have Blue Ridge office and you need to go in here when you are inside from the spawn point you turn left and here this bottle it's a vintage toxic gin it's according to my knowledge the only place you can get this gin at this moment maybe there is more i don't know that's the only one i know so far i don't know if it's possible to craft it like if you could, after watching this video, uh, go and visit Beef and do at least one daily for him. I was doing, but I didn't get a recipe then. I have no clue if Bethesda added recipe to Beef rewards or not. Because they added this new alcohol, but we cannot craft it, then I'm curious if Beef can give it. Then if you can do the daily for Beef and if you will get a recipe for this gene, let me know. But anyway, now you're probably thinking, what to do if there is only one bottle? Yeah, this can be an issue, but uh, there, there are some solutions if you know how items respawn and spawn in the game. I will not explain exactly everything because I originally made video about it and it's still up on my channel. I will maybe even link it in here, but full explanation is 20 minutes long. Then uh, I will give you a short one. After you pick up this vintage gin, you can go anywhere in the world or even in here, pick up 255 other items. It doesn't matter what exactly, 255 different items, lose items in the world. Then go back to main menu, log back in and you can pick up another bottle. A second option is if you have a friend that is willing to help you. If you have a friend that is willing to help you, you go in here as a team leader as I did and this bottle will be here. Of course, you cannot pick it up. If you want to do it with friend, you cannot pick it up. Then your friend needs to enter. And in my, my case, it will be Mitzi. And then she needs to pick it up. After that, she needs to get out. And I need to go back to main menu. Back to main menu. Go back on the server. And I'm using Kia, my private server, but it doesn't matter. It works exactly the same on Adventure. Then you make a new team. Make the other person join you. You run back in again. And whoever is helping you run after you because this bottle will be back and your friend can pick it up again. And that's probably the fastest way to farm it. It's still quite tedious to do those server hops just to pick up another bottles. Therefore, I really hope we will get a way to craft it. I would much, pre much more prefer to just craft it. But okay, that being said, now we need to test how this stuff exactly works. And for that reason, we'll need to engage in PvP with Mitzi. Now, I'm very curious if it can reduce my damage resistance by more than 10. I didn't test it yet, then we'll do the test now on me. And Mitzi just drank one bottle of Toxic Gin. And let's see. Yeah, it's reducing it. 422. Oh, it doesn't stack. Oh, and I see there is some kind of a like toxic animation, let, let, let me see again. No? Maybe I was mistaken. Okay, then it can reduce it only once. 
Now, how does it affect the damage? I have naked fist, I have 44 damage. If I will drink it, will it... Uh, oh, okay, I have a better idea, because it will probably work on melee. Will it work on my range guns? Like, light machine gun. Because if you don't know, there is no alcohol that can increase your damage with heavy guns. Like, you have ballistic bog, but that only works with rifles and small guns. For energy guns, you have the Hefe, but none of those alcohols work with heavy guns. Now, what about gin? Does it work? Let me drink one and let's see if damage will change. Oh, what was the damage? Uh, 84. One gin. 88! It's working! It's increasing the damage. If you are curious why it's not exactly 10%, that because all damage bonuses in this game since One Wasteland are additive. And because I already have a lot of damage bonuses on me, it looks like it's working with half of the intended effect, where actually it is not. It is working correctly. It is a 10% additive, what means counted from base weapon damage. Okay, then it's working. Okay. We tested it. It's working. It's amazing. But I have more good news for you guys. I just need to go to my camp. And here I have more good news for you at Brewing Station. Let me show you. We are going under mixed drinks. And look at that. Two new drinks by default in here. You don't need a recipe for those. They, they are just in here. And you just need uh, vintage toxic gin to craft them. Toxic gin and tonic. Uh, the good thing about is that you get one extra bottle. Like you, do, you use two bottles of vintage toxic gin and you are getting three bottles of toxic gin and tonic. It's not giving you this minus 10 to enemy damage resistance, but it's giving you 15% bonus to your damage. What's really nice and only requires blight to craft and you know blight is super easy to get, then you can slightly multiply your bottles. And second one is toxic gin and martini. This one I don't think is really useful because it only keeps this lower enemy damage resist by 10. There is no damage bonus and even this lowering damage resist is not any better. The only good thing is from one bottle you are making free, but yeah, I don't think anyone would be using that. Even though I crafted, I have them in my menu to show you. And toxic gin and tonic, that's awesome. 15% bonus damage and that's an alcohol, which means you can stack it with your chems. What's great, I will be definitely using that. I will be crafting always this one and I will show you if I consume one. I have already in my inventory. I have this toxic gin martini that's unfortunately not good, but I have toxic gin and tonic. It's high disease chance, I don't know why, but maybe because it's toxic. 15% bonus to damage. I drink it. Now under effects, I got a disease. Look how long it lasts. It lasts five minutes. Oh, it's only showing 10% here. Does it give it 15 or just 10? I don't know now. I will need to see on the weapon. Oh, 88 still. Then it's a little bit broken. Okay, that's a bad news. It's a little bit broken. It's only giving 10% bonus damage instead of 15%. That's advertised on the bottle. Alcohol companies are cheating again. <laughs> okay, it's not 15, it's 10%, but you still can multiply the bottles. Then I will most likely still craft it to get this extra bottle. Then yeah, that's still worth it. And five minute duration is not bad. A little bit, a little bit disappointed that I will not get this extra 5%. But that's everything for now. Uh, let me know, guys, if you will do the daily for beef. If you get a recipe for toxic gin, then definitely let me know in comments or even make a screenshot and post it on Twitter for everyone to see. And apart from that, let me know what you think about this new alcohol. I personally, I'm a big fan. Extra damage for my heavy gunner that's easy to keep for boss fights? It's always welcome. And that being said, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.